Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kanisha of Currency Queen Budgeting. I am a zero-based cash budgeter. In today's video, I will be stuffing my first paycheck for April. If that is something that you're interested in, stay tuned. <laughs> behind because I got sick and I had an unexpected doctor's visit. I kind of had to revamp my cash stuffing for this pay period. I went ahead and paid the deductible for my insurance, you know, to visit the doctor in full because I didn't want the hassle of trying to rem remember to pay that bill. So I kind of had to go back and redo my budget so we finally got that out the way I'm feeling a lot better now I'm not back on 100% but we will get there but let's get this let's get this started for my cash breakdown as you can see I went to the bank on 4-8 um, I had four dollars, four one dollar bills, which equals four dollars, and fives. I had ten five dollar bills, which equals fifty. My tens, I got eight of those, which equals eighty. Twenty, I got seven of those, which equals one forty. Fifty, I got four of those, which equals two hundred. One hundred, I just got one of those, which equals one hundred, and totally. 574 that we will, we will be cash stuffing tonight. And guys, they didn't even bother to give me an envelope this time. I guess she just said, hey, because they normally see me taking my box in to the bank. So she just paper clipped it and just gave it to me. But it's fine. It's all good. All right. 100. 52 to 53 20 40 60 80 20 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, and 74. $574. And you guys know I use my paycheck tracker. I actually got a new pen to write on my tablet. And I actually like this one better. I purchased it off of Amazon and it is perfect for me writing on here. It works a whole lot better than my last one. So this is for 4822. From my work paycheck, I only got $174. From my Etsy store, you guys know I do $400 with a total of $574. Okay, for my bill section, you guys know I only stuff for credit card two, credit card three. I do not stuff my big bills as of yet, in which I plan on starting to at least put something in those envelopes so I can start my month ahead funds for each one. And I don't know if you guys were able to catch my last video, but we did go in and we changed our binders to go with our categories. So we will be working with four binders. So that way I can be more organized when I am cash stuffing. Okay, the first thing we will cash stuff is card 
credit card number two. And I hope you guys can see my tablet. If not, I will tell you guys what I'm doing. Credit card number two gets $18. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'll lay that right there because we're going to get credit card three. 20, 21. I keep forgetting that I broke that. Next, we have our tides. You will be stuffing only one hundred dollar this one hundred dollars this pay period. We are not stuffing for our car or our insurance. No phone, entertainment. We will be stuffing $20. And that will be all for this binder. We just stuffed $159. $159 from our beginning total of $574 leave us with $415. Next, we will go to our variable expenses. Like I said, I hope you guys can see this. First, we will start with our groceries. We have $5 left over in groceries, and I think I just want to take this out and place that here. And groceries will get $100, which we will do 50, 70, 90, 100. 50, 70, 90, 100. For gas, we will get $60, which is going to do 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. next we're not stuffing and eating out this time we did not budget for eating out but that is something that i think i want to try to do um for next pay period maybe but i have an envelope for that for spending we will get 10. we had some left over for spending and i think i want to leave it here for now and that would give us a total of $25, 10, 20, 25. For household, we still have $5 and we will add 10 to this. I wish that would give us fifteen dollars. I don't have anything for medication, but I will budget for that next pay period. And these are just my extra envelopes. 
that I have in here. That'll be all for this binder. For our variable spendings, we stuffed $180 from $415 from $415 minus the $180 leave us with a leftover of $235 to cash stuff. Next, we will go to our sinking funds. And I think this is the right one. For our sinking funds, we will start with our debt snowball. Which debt snowballs we are going to do 50. Our emergency funds we are going to add 50 and which we have we have our placeholders which is three hundred dollars and three fifty four hundred dollars So we are definitely still on track with our emergency funds. Family time, we will get $5 in family time. That will leave us with 10, 15, 20. For self-care, we are adding, I don't think I budget for clothing this time. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. For self-care, we will add five. We had left over 10, 15, now we have 20. Uh, we have nothing for beauty. Car maintenance. We have ten dollars. In which we have ten twenty in car maintenance. For vacation, we have 10. $20, 30 I have $40 now in vacation. taxes we will add 50 in which we also put a placeholder here 100 150 200 in which we will start over for this for next pay period in which we will start over next pay period because we do have to pay our taxes on the 15th so we will remove this as well as we have the $100 in the bank already. So we will add this $100 to the bank and to what we already had put back previously for um, our taxes. In which we did not stuff that on video. I just went ahead and put it back automatically because I knew I had to pay some in so for savings we will add 10 we will add 
15. And that will give us 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I will be using Fitch to redeem my points for my gift cards for Christmas. That is the plan for Christmas this year. If you don't use Fitch, I will drop my link below. You can use my code and you can get started with Fitch. Fitch is simply just scanning any receipt that you receive and you will be able to get points. And once you get a certain amount of points, you will be able to redeem those points for gift cards. And then I have this for St. Jude. Um, we will actually stuff that next pay period as well. That's all for that binder. And we have our last binder. For sinking funds, we stuffed a total of $190. We started at 235 from 190 is a total of $45 that we have left over. And we are going to go to our extra savings binder. And we are going to start with Bossed Up. Bossed Up is for a project that I am working on as far as with one of my businesses. I am... I've been started on a project, but it's time for me to go for forward with it. So I am going to start saving before I just actually jump in and go forward. So for this one, I will get um, $20. And a date night, we'll get 5 Give us 5, 10, 15. For J-Man, he hasn't brought anything, but he does have, we, we are starting this month with 1120. I think he has $1,120 is what he's starting off for April. And for Kanaya, I have $20 budgeted for her. And we stuffed a total of $45 in our extra savings, which left us $0. And I think I would just put this five here in my folder because I don't have anywhere to put it as of yet so anything that's rolled over I think I would just put it in my in my folder like maybe when I have spending if I just don't spend anything I might just start putting it in my my envelope because I don't set any money off to the side for me we do have our one dollar our one dollar savings challenge and we keep that here in this envelope and you guys know we do not count these and I think I say that at the end of every video that I when I touch these one dollars because I want it to be a surprise just to see how much I'm actually saving in one dollar bills and I think we are we are doing very very good on those I really wanted to set myself a goal <laughs> on how much I wanted to save on $1 bills, but I really can't set a goal for that because I only use these $1 bills when I get back and change. Okay, so we don't have anything for rollover. Birthday. I have one birthday coming up, which is DJ. My son, he will be 23 years old. He... His birthday is 
420 but I think I will redeem a gift card off of Fetch and give him a gift card and let him go buy whatever he wants for his birthday. Guys, when I tell you guys I really love using Fetch, I love it. Nothing for OES and nothing for savings challenges at this moment. So that is all for that binder. I didn't total up how much we actually saved for this pay period, but it'll be okay. So guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. As always, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I want you guys to be blessed, Queenies.